In this video, we're going to explore aging curves in baseball players. So to start with, we need to load three different packages. Uh, Sean Lehman's package, which has a number of data frames on baseball statistics and the dplyr and ggplot package. If we're going to look at aging curves of baseball players, we need to be able to determine their ages. So to start with, we're going to use the batting data frame. And I'm going to make a new data frame. I'm going to call lowercase batting. And I'm going to join two of the data frames in Sean Lehman's package. The batting data frame with the master data frame. The master data frame gives the year of, of birth and the month of birth. So we can use that to find the age for a current year of a particular player. So we'll run that and we have our new data frame you can see up in the global environment window. So let's consider two players born in 1970. One was born in January and one in November and we'll consider the current year to be 2000. Well the player born in January was 30 years old for most of of that particular season, whereas the player born in November really played that 2000 season at the age of 29. So we need to be able to correct for uh, the month in which a particular player was born. So we're going to set up a correction. What I will do is to set up a new variable in the data frame. I'm going to call it age.core for age correction. And I'm going to use the if else command to set up my new column. So birth month in the data frame is given as a number. So I'll simply say birth month is earlier than July, then I don't need to make a correction. But if it's later, July or later, then I need to subtract a year from that uh, calculation and I need to put in my data frame there. So we'll run this command and now if we take a look at the head of batting you can see that I have my uh, age correction uh, variable down here. Sometimes they're NAs if we don't know when a particular player was born. Now what I will do is to set up uh, a series of commands strung together with a piping operator to um, look at how speed varies as players age. And there are lots of ways that we could look at diminishing speed, but the way I'm going to do it here is to look at the ratio between triples and doubles. So one would expect as players age that hits that used to be triples when they were young are, are now doubles. So uh, I use triples over doubles as a metric. could use uh, doubles over triples, but I think uh, later in the career some players may not hit any triples, in which case we would have a problem trying to divide through by zero. So let's uh, just paste in the code. So the first thing that I've done is to filter out uh, all the years prior to 1901. So 1901 is when rules were standardized. And then I have made in the next line here a new variable which is age. And I get age by taking the current year, year ID, subtracting the birth year, and then adding my age correction. So the age correction is zero if for players that were born in June or earlier. And for players born in July or later, I take one year off. Then I set up a second variable uh, called TPL, DBL, triple double. That's just my ratio of triples to doubles. And now I'm going to group by players. And um, we'll now summarize. And I'm going to take out this little command here. But what I'm doing is combining. Um, a, a typical summarize uh, call with the subset function. So what I'm asking for here is I want to know the top triple-double 
value in the data frame. So what was the highest value of TPL, DBL in the data frame for each particular player? So I'm asking for the age, and then I'm taking a subset, and the subset is the maximum TPL, DBL value. So find that maximum value, but report the age. And then I also am asking for the number of seasons that each player uh, played. And then um, having done that, I'm filtering by uh, seasons because I don't want players that just played one or two years. So I want players that had a, a fairly long career. And so I have a minimum of four years. So you had to play at least four years to be in this analysis. So what I'll do now is to call ggplot and I use a period just to indicate that ggplot should use the data that we've modified so far with the dplyr commands. And then I'm going to uh, make a histogram and I'm going to plot TOPTD. That's actually the age at which the triple to double ratio was highest. And I, I will use uh, the histogram geome and I've set the bid width to 0.4. Now we'll run this and we'll find that we have a problem. It says it was expecting a single value. So what I need to do is to go right up here and I need to add 1 here. So, so the 1 is telling ggplot that uh, I just want a single value uh, reported. So we'll now run this code. And we got a, a, a nice plot there. I'll zoom in to make it a little more visible. But what you can see is that uh, for all the players uh, in the modern era of 1901 on, that uh, the speed seems to be fastest uh, right at the age of 24. So that's when the ratio of triples to doubles is highest. And you can see that that falls off and uh, relatively few players uh, had their highest triple to double ratio when they were in their 30s. And some of these players may in fact have had careers that started in their late 20s. Um, and there was one player who was uh, quite young, uh, had his highest ratio when he was uh, 16 years old. But we can extend our study and perhaps we're interested in knowing how the aging curve varies for particular positions. So how does shortstops uh, age relative to, say, first baseman? To do that, we need to uh, use a third data frame in Sean Lehman's package. That's the fielding data frame. So we'll take a look at, at the fielding data frame. And I'm using the glimpse command, which is the equivalent of the stir or structure command that's in base R, but glimpse is a, a, a command in the dplyr package, so you have to have dplyr loaded to use glimpse. But it uh, gives a, a nice list of all of the variables as well as the first few values, and it identifies the type of variable that we have as well. And you'll notice that uh, I have uh, one variable here called POS. So if we take a look at, at the different uh, levels of POS, then we see that there are uh, 11 positions. We have uh, three outfield positions and also a general outfielder. Um, we also have the DH. So let's just say we're interested in the shortstops. We want to prepare an aging curve for shortstops only. We will need to use one of the filtering joins in this case. If you take a look at um, the size of fielding, so 167,938 rows, which is a uh, more rows than we had in the batting data frame. And the reason for that is that players play multiple positions. So every position that they play in a given year is going to result in a separate row. So if we take a look at um, the 
the actual number of players in the fielding data frame. So we'll just use the indistinct function. We see that there are 18,214 uh, players, but uh, collectively they make up uh, almost 170,000 rows. So what we will want to do is to filter out our shortstops from this big uh, fielding database. So we'll do that with dplyr, and I'm going to make a new data frame. I'm going to call it fielding dot ss dot shortstops. And now what I will do is to call the fielding data frame, and we're going to filter out all the positions that are shortstop. So only shortstop is being done here. Now if you notice there are a number of columns here in the fielding data frame and some of them overlap with columns in the batting data frame that we've created including uh, year ID, player ID, team ID, league ID, games, um, stolen bases, and so forth. So if we try to do a join, what uh, dplyr is going to do is to try to join on as many different columns as are common between the two data frames. So in this case we only want to join on one column. So what I'm going to do here is just to select a single column. I'm going to select player ID. So I don't really care about any of the data in fielding. I'm just using fielding to, to identify the players that played shortstop. So we'll run that, and now I have my fielding shortstop data frame up here with 11,394 variables. And just out of curiosity, what we can do is to instead use fielding SS, and we'll run this same command, and we can see that there were almost 3,000 players um, that have played shortstop at some point in their career. Now we will use one of the filtering joins. I'm going to use the semi-join and what I will do is to give batting first and then to give fielding dot SS. This particular filtering join is not going to add any new columns to batting. Instead, it's merely going to take all the values in fielding for player ID and um, retain those in my, uh, my new data frame. So I'm only going to get those rows in batting where the players played shortstop. So we'll run this command. And now we have shortstop. And you'll notice that I had uh, almost 100,000 rows in batting but if I extract only players that played shortstop, uh, then I reduced my number by about 80%. So now I have my data on shortstops. So what I can do with, uh, with this is to go back up here, and instead of running my analysis on all baseball batters, I can just run it on shortstops. So there we have the curve for all shortstops, and it looks somewhat similar to the curve for all batters, but uh, if anything, it appears that shortstops may um, start to have a declining speed a little earlier than other players on average. But of course, uh, we could continue this analysis by stipulating that we wanted players that played say at least 50 games a year at shortstop because some of the players in this analysis would have only played shortstop a little bit and sort of filling in and might be a second baseman or a third baseman most of the time. So we could go in and, and, and modify our, uh, our data frame to get uh, full-time shortstops to see how that might look. But at any rate, this uh, this particular technique of using uh, the subsetting function within the uh, framework of dplyr, uh, particularly the summarize command, allows one to 
determine the age at which uh, a particular metric is maximized.